Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Welcome back friends welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about CBC which we call that complete blood count we also call that FBC or full blood count and the third name is CBP or complete blood picture test Now what is actually CBC uh, FBC, CBC or CBP is actually it is a blood test which we mostly perform to check the overall health and we mostly check all the body physiological function and we also need in this test we also need to check uh, the different diseases uh, like anemia like uh, bacterial viral or different types of infection uh, leukemia or immune disorder so these are actually the diseases due to which we mostly identify by performing the CBC test. Now what actually the CBC test measures? CBC test measures different and several components and features which are included in our blood like it can measure the red blood cell count. All of you better know red blood cells are especially important to carry oxygen. It can measure the white blood cell count which, uh, which means that uh, uh, white beds especially are important for the back uh, for infection then we uh, it also measure the platelet count so which help in blood clotting so each of the cell have the normal range and normal value let's suppose if the normal value are disturbed if there is a abnormality in the normal range of each blood cells so then we have different types of the diseases so through different type of the diseases the normal range is disturbed disturbed now these are the white blood cell as you can see these are all the uh, uh, CBC complete blood count in complete blood count what we mostly see we mostly count the monocyte lymphocyte neutrophil eosinophil basophil macrophages erythrocyte and platelets uh, these are not the real picture but if you found uh, inside the microscope uh, when you stain the slider so you will mostly found the monocyte at, at this shape we mostly see the white blood cell uh, we mostly identify it by their nucleus as you can see so these are the monocytes uh, they have a large nucleus uh, and uh, it can occupy uh, a large area of the cell as compared to lymphocyte but lymphocyte can, can, can occupy more than large area mean their nucleus occupy more than large area and both our cells are the uh, agranulocyte these cells do not have the granules Next we have neutrophil, eosinophil, basophils. These three cells are the granulocytes uh, because in this case they have the granules as you can see the dot form can represent the granules. Uh, and uh, neutrophil are mostly in three loops. They have three or multi loops nucleus as you can see. So we mostly identify neutrophil in this form. Then we have eosinophil that have a spectator like uh, nucleus as you can see. And they have also granules. Uh, Basophils have also granules, but their nucleus is, you know, uh, hide in the. Uh, we we can we, we can easily see, but uh, in this case, uh, the nucleus is hide uh, uh, with the granules. As you can see, granules are present. You can see the nucleus, but not too much clearly, as in case of neutrophil and eosinophil. Then we have macrophages, which are actually the monocyte. Uh, when it is present in the tissue, then we call it macrophages. Uh, we have uh, erythrocytes means our red blood cell that are biconcave in shape uh, and we have platelets that are very small cells uh, their size is too much small as compared to erythrocytes and uh, white blood cell uh, white blood cell are larger cells uh, as compared to erythrocytes and platelets uh, rbc are smaller as compared to white blood cell and platelets and platelets are too much small cells uh, as compared to erythrocytes and white blood cell now then what are the purpose of the CBC for what purpose we perform the CBC what are the main purposes so CBC is mostly you know performed to just check the overall health of the body means uh, we want to check that whether the uh, we have anemia or leukemia type of disease or not uh, mostly anemia and leukemia uh, uh, leukemia is a blood cancer and anemia means uh, the blood uh, red blood cell uh, deficiency 
red blood cell deficiency or hemoglobin deficiency mostly hemoglobin deficiency then it is also uh, uh, the main purpose of this test is also to check uh, or to diagnose the medical condition condition like we have weakness uh, fatigue fever uh, inflammation joint pain like uh, bruising means bleeding uh, blood pressure or heart disease so whenever you want to find out these types of the diseases so you have to perform the cbc test it is also important to check the medical treatment for example if we want to give any type of the medicine so through this test we can check that uh, how the medicine can affect on the blood cells now these are the main purposes of the cbc then what are the requirements for the cbc or total blood count tbc we also called it tbc uh, uh, uh all of you better know that uh, the cbc contain a lot of parameters means it contain a lot of test uh, but due to the presence of this one machine which we called it hematology analyzer machine uh, which is actually fully automated machine uh, and the presence of this machine they can you know give you report quickly means 5 to 10 minutes they can give you the report and they can give you all the parameters that are mentioned in the cbc we will talk it in the next slide so due to this machine it will it can give you all the result and moreover it can not only give you the result but it can also give you the graph as you can see on the screen okay now for the cbc or tbc we need blood in edta tube and we uh, this is the blood as you can see in the edta tube and we also need the hematology analyzer machine so this is what this is the hematology analyzer machine now how to perform this test first of all you have to take the blood by inserting the the needle mean the syringe needle into the vein of the arm as you can see first of all you have to palpate the specific area where you want to take the blood and once you find out the veins so then you have to clean that area using the uh, spirit or, or you you use uh, alcohol or ethanol to clean that specific area now after that you have to insert uh, the syringe as you can see at 15 angle so this syringe is actually inserted at 15 angle after that uh, what you will do once you take the blood then you have to shift this blood into the edta tube Bef uh, immediately uh, once that the blood is clotted so then it is very difficult or then we cannot perform the complete picture cp means complete picture okay now once it is shifted into edta tube then it should be shake means uh, up down shaking it should be performed before it proceed into hematology machine after that uh, you have to remove the cape uh, once the uh, you know the blood is mixed in edta tube then what you will do you will remove the cap and after that you will dip the tube uh, you will dip the machine needle in the tube uh, which is uh, you know filled with blood now after that you press uh, what you will do after that you press the button due to this pressing the button let me show you have to press this button okay once you press this button so what happened this is the needle as you can see the needle should be dip okay so the needle should after that you have to press this one button as you can see once you press this one button what happen they will take the blood and the needle will be inserted into this machine after the needle is inserted into this machine then what happen after that after that it will you know uh, read the blood and after to 5 to 10 minute what you will see you will see the result on the screen and you have to take out the print of this result and you have to you know uh, compare your blood result with the uh, normal range so these are the procedure of the performing cp means complete picture now what are the parameters of the cbc parameter of the cbc means how many tests are included in the complete blood count so these are the parameter as you can see first we have a, a total leukocyte count or wbc count in cbc we also perform total erythrocyte counts or rbc count tec uh, we also in this test we also perform total thrombocyte count or ttc or platelet count okay first of all we have total leukocyte count then we have a differential leukocyte count in differential leukocyte count we have neutrophil basophil eosinophil monocyte lymphocyte and blast cell mostly the blast cell is not present but uh, in cancer cases the blood cell is present then we have hemoglobin hb or hgb 
we have uh, plex cell volume or pcv hematocrit hct we have mean cell or corpuscle volume mean cell uh, hb or mean cell hemoglobin we have mean cell hemoglobin concentration mchc rdw red cell uh, distribution with uh, then in platelet uh, what we actually see in platelet we see the total thrombocyte count uh, ttc we see the platelet crit pct and we see the mean platelet volume mpv and we see the platelet distribution with so these are the uh, different parameters uh, that we see in the cbc now these are the normal range as you can see uh, when you uh, take out the print of the cbc so these are the normal range of the cbc we have to know about this normal range first of all we have a total leukocyte count so the normal range of the total leukocyte is 5000 to 10000 microliter or ml then we have neutrophil which is 40 to 80 percent not below 240 not higher than 80 otherwise in uh, if it is low or high it can indicate the infection basophil mostly the basophil is not present uh, but it is it should be less than 2% uh, as you can see eosinophil is uh, actually 2 to 6% monocyte should have 5 to 10% uh, lymphocyte will be 20 to 40% then we have hemoglobin hgb uh, hgp so in male uh, we have uh, mostly uh, after uh, means uh, above 15 year so we have the hemoglobin value is uh, 13.0 to 17.0 gdl in female we have the hemoglobin value is 11.5 to 15.5 gdl it is uh, uh, the female normal range uh, hemoglobin range is uh, lower it is because of the menstrual cycle then we have pcv or hct hematocrit or pexel volume so in male we have 40 to 55 percent normal range and in female we have 36 to 48 which is due to the menstrual cycle then we have total erythrocyte count or rbc count we have 4.5 or 5.5 into 10 power 6 microliter then we have mean uh, platelet volume which is the 7.5 to 11.5 fl and the mean cell volume is 83 to 101 fl we have mean cell uh, hemoglobin which is 27 to 32 we have mean cell hemoglobin concentration 31.5 to 34.5 we have rdw red cell distribution with 12% to 15% we have total thrombocyte count which is the 15 means 1 150 into 150 to 400 into 10 ratio power uh, 3 microliter then we have platelet uh, uh, pct or platelet crit which which we have 0.22 to 0.24 percent and platelet distribution width which we have 8.3 to 5.56.6 percent uh, so these are the normal range of all the cbc parameters uh, now remember guys inshallah in upcoming videos lecture we will explain each of the things in detail one by one each of the things one by one in detail we are going to see tlc how we perform tlc what are the purpose of tlc what type of the diseases are caused if the tlc is low or higher dlc we are going to talk about low or higher procedure method all these things we are going all the parameters one by one in detail their procedure their normal range their uh, procedure uh, 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 when the disease is uh, due to which the normal range is disturbed so we are going to talk it in detail one thing that's really important that when we do not have let's suppose the hematology analyzer so almost this cbc take uh, almost almost 1 to 2 hour this cbc take because in the cbc you mostly you know check all these parameter which is very difficult and it need a high skill moreover it need a high time consuming and it required high skill as well as it also uh, take uh, a lot of time as well okay uh, and it is also expensive but if the cbc uh, or hematology analyzer is present so all the problem will be automatically solved for example it can take very less time it can give you quick report and uh, one thing more it do not need high skill and it need just small volume of the blood but in this case uh, uh, um, if we perform it uh, manually uh, cbc if we perform cbc manually so it take a lot of times uh, and it take a lot of blood each and everything 
So these are the some of the disadvantages if you perform the CBC manually. You can also take a lot of times uh, and a lot of expenses. That's why manually is uh, give you accurate result as compared to this hematology analyzer. But it is not uh, uh, means uh, mostly cases. This is not a most mostly occur cases. This is a rare case. So that's all about the CBC. I hope you guys get idea about that. Thanks for watching.